Hey there and welcome back to the video series. So in the previous video we finished up the login route where we um, wrote the last code to generate the token, the JSON web token, uh, based on username and ID. And in this video we will create the code that will allow us to use the token. So we can uh, authenticate uh, the user uh, to the API and allow the user to use uh, specific uh, routes that we want to protect. Uh, so we have the token, but we need some sort of middleware code that will allow the routes, uh, the product uh, routes, uh, to check uh, the token. If it is a valid token, uh, then it should allow people to create product. If it is not valid, then it should not be possible to create a product or update it or delete it. So it is going to sit in this route here and protect the routes depending on if it is a valid token or not. So we need to do uh, write a bit more code in the validation JS. We had this comment here, logic to verify our token. And we are going to use JVT. JSON web token and then I, first I need to um, as we did with the auth JS file we're going to import JSON web token so we're going to say require and JSON web token and we can see then we can use JVT now and then we will make a new a new function here verify token that will take a request response and then next because it is a middleware function so this will sit between the product routes actually before the product routes and verify if the token is okay and if it is okay it's going to pass control to the product routes but we will see this whoop so let's make a new function here and first we're going to make a new token that we get from the request header and let's just call this auth token so it's going to be in postman we are going to make a uh, a new header in here well in the product routes but we're going to set a, an auth token and then we're going to attach this uh, token that we got from uh, from the api and then we can validate on each route if it is a uh, valid token. So we're going to get auth token from the header and then we will uh, check if we don't have a token. Then we're going to respond with status 401, uh, access denied, and we're going to send a JSON response with the message access denied. Okay, but if we have a token, then we will make a try on a catch block. Whoop. So we also have the catch here. And we're going to do something there. But first, uh, we will make a verify, if I can type correctly here goes well and we will use JVT uh, verified and we're going to pass along the token that we got from the header and then we will also uh, send the whoop, the token secret that we had in the ENV file and this will give us a, a result if it is verified or not. And if it is not verified, if we get an error, it's gonna be uh, caught in the catch block. And then we're going to respond here with a status 400. Uh, with an error here saying that the token is not valid maybe because it expired or something like that. But if it is actually verified, then we're going to set the user to, to the verified here. Uh, okay. And then we will call next 
and that means that we will pass control to the next route in the stack. So in order to use this, we also need to export it like we did with the login validation. So we're going to extend this even further, uh, this module export. So we're going to say verify token. We're going to export our function in this uh, module export. So how can we use this uh, in our application now? Because now we have exported it, uh, the middleware function, and uh, we need to use it in our routes. Because if we take a look in the product JS, where we have all the CRUD operations specified, this is where we would like to authenticate the user or to require authorization so that we can see that the user is actually authorized to delete a product, for instance, or update one or create one. Maybe it's not so critical to read them just to get the information, but if it is sensitive information, then maybe we would like to also restrict access to these routes if you are only uh, authorized to it. So uh, the way we do this is that we need to uh, have access first to the verified token function, the middleware function. So we will create a new constant here uh, called uh, verified token. Whoop, a middleware function here. So require. And then we need to, because we are inside the routes directory, so we need to go outside and into the validation. Then we have access to our verified token. And uh, an easy way now is to, um, in the route here, we can pass in the authentication function here, or the middleware function, so we specify verify token. So now it sits between before we do the actual uh, creation of the product. So it's going to verify the token before it will do this code. And uh, if it is a, a successful verification, uh, then it's gonna pass along control to the next route. This means that it's gonna pass along the control to the route here if it is a valid verification, okay? If not, then we will uh, catch it right here, saying that the token is not valid, or also here, access denied if we do not provide any token. All right, so how does this work in Postman? If we should test this out, well, if we go to Postman and let's just log in again here, let's just take this one away first because it should not be on the login. This was just a demonstration here, so we take this one away and let's just log in again with our uh, user. So we can see here that we get the authentication and the JSON web token here. So I'm gonna copy this uh, token and if we want to, let's just take the create because we just attached it to the create now as the only route right now. Uh, so if we want to create a new product and we are not uh, providing any authentication right now. So if we hit send now, it will say access denied because as we specified in the validation, if there is no token, we should respond with uh, access denied. Okay, so this is where this if statement kicks in. Uh, let's just uh, go to the headers and let's make the auth token and let's provide our token here. And if we hit send now, it will say that it has 200 status and it actually allowed us to create the product. I think we have a product in our, yeah, product two. Okay, really nice. So for instance, let's say that we modify the token just to see, to find the case that it is not a valid token. If we modify the token, let's just put uh, like this, two, two, two. So now we have changed the content of the token. It should be invalid now. If we hit send, 
it will say error, bad request, token is not valid, it comes from here. Okay, so it actually seems like this works, that we have uh, authorization now for the create new product. And now it's really, really easy to define what route should have this, because you just need to specify verified token. If I can actually, whoop. so we specify the middleware right there. And so we can really put this, uh, have this granular control of which uh, route we want to protect and which should be um, available to all. Uh, so you don't need to authenticate. So now we have only create and delete, but we can still see that if you want to uh, get a an overview of all the products, you can still do this even though you're not authenticated. So we can just hit send on this and it will allow us to do this because the get all that we have right here does not have the verified token middleware function. So this concludes the uh, authentication system based on JSON web tokens that we have uh, built on this uh, REST API. And I hope you make this work and uh, have fun with us. Bye-bye.